Day three, Chris, where are we going? Valley of Fire. State Park, right? State Park, yeah. Beautiful Red Rock. We went to, where did we go to yesterday? We went to Red Rock Canyon. Death Valley. And then Death Valley, and then we came home. Ooh, we came home late last night. Yeah. <music> Chris, we have a beautiful suite at the Venetian in Las Vegas. But, and I didn't think it could get any better than that. I guess it could get better than that. But we got upgraded. And currently, tonight, we have been upgraded to beautiful Valley of Fire State Park. And this is our campsite for the night. And so far, we've seen bighorn sheep. I guess they were uh, what were they doing head banging head banging they were tussling tussling in the in the wherever they were but we'll we'll have some I think I've got some video do you have any video of that I got a little bit I got some video on my on my on my camera and we saw some groundhogs right chip so uh, chip tri yeah not groundhogs chipmunks same thing just smaller right no yeah close enough but this is this is where we're going to be uh, for the evening Hopefully getting some uh, star trail and astrophotography stuff and uh, and yeah, I'm really excited Me too We moved campsites because We saw somebody camp here and I can't remember exactly who it was my first guess it was maybe like world of Micah or I can't really remember who was who was here but this uh, this site six at the Arch Rock Campground in Valley of Fire was something I saw in a video before, and uh, when we came in, we first did a video at, at site thirteen, which was site twelve, which was perfect, but uh, somebody with a with a, one of those um, Airstream tuna can vans was here, and uh, and they they packed up and left, so we moved over here, and I don't know if you can point over there but if you come up this rock here there's a little kind of like a little cave tiny little cave in there and we'll do some we'll get some video of that this is one of the shots of the bighorn sheep I don't know how well we can see it you know being sunlight out but uh, this bighorn sheep come up and he was eating all this grass and he jumps up on this rock and, and I got him. And he sat there and posed for us for a while. I'm not sure how much of that was seeable. Yeah, maybe not. We'll, we'll, we'll put video, we'll put photos on the video or something. I don't know. We don't know how to do YouTube, so we're going to figure it out. This hot weather is making my mustache wilt. Mm. Poor baby. <laughs> Having a bad hair day. Let's go see some more of this place. Look, there's the bathroom. <laughs> fresh. It's anything but fresh, actually. It's stinky, stinky vault toilet. I don't know where I'm going, so we're gonna make a left. Okay. Okay. I don't have a map, so I can't tell you which way to go. Okay. 
No off-road driving. Road. I was going to say the road feels like it's off-road enough. We're going to go check out. We're going to go go to some of our favorites. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, oh. Don't tag the rental car company in this video. Last night we came back from Death Valley. We didn't get a chance to really see as much as we wanted to. We were hoping to see some ghost towns. And that, uh, that we just ran out of time. So make sure you have plenty of time in these places to see what you want to see. But we're heading to what's called the Beehives now here at Valley of Fire. What is it, a Kia Sedona? Sedona? Serrano. Serrano? It's a Kia something. It says on the back. You know what it doesn't say on the back? A license plate. This has kind of like freaked us out before. We would we would get a we would get a vehicle Sedona. But we would get a vehicle and there'd be no license plate, but it's I guess it's so new within 30 days, it's got a it's got an inspection or like a temporary tag thing of a bob in the front window. Here we are at the beehives. And there are these rock formations that look like they could be a beehive. These are called the beehives. I can see it. I can see it on this one here. I guess that looks like a beehive. Over here, I don't know, not so much. What are you shooting with, Chris? 24 to 70. Nice. What do you got on the front? Polarizer. Okay. Circular polarizer? Yes. What, what's the trick that I taught you a long time ago about polarizers? You want to turn them clockwise so that you don't accidentally twist it off and especially when you're on rock, shatter them. Well, right. If you if you turn it clockwise, you're you're tightening it as you as you turn the the layer, but if you turn it counterclockwise, it seems like eventually it's going to fall off the front of your lens and it, it it always happens when you're on rock. More of the beehives. And one of our favorite vloggers kind of inspired us his name is Adam the Woo and one of his big things is whatever you do don't look down This is petrified logs. Petrified logs, okay. There they are, we found them. Found it. That's a petrified log. 150 million years ago. Millions of years ago, this little tree likely grew with others of its kind in the forest several miles from here. Flood waters carried to the fallen log to this area where it was buried beneath thousands of feet of silt, sand, and sea deposits. Here, it slowly changed to stone. Mouse's tank is named after Mouse, an outlaw who used the natural water basin as a refuge for drinking water. The collected water gave him relief as he spent days and even months hiding out. Mouse's tank trail is also known for its ancient Native American rock art that dates back 2,000, 4,000 years ago. Please do not touch the petroglyphs as the oils in your skin will destroy these irreplaceable treasures. Three quarter mile out and back. And it's 90 some degrees. Oh yeah, I see a couple of them. Get another shot of them.
Very nice. I gave you rabbit ears while you were doing it. Is that Tally from South Park? <laughs> Don't forget to bring your towel. Mouse's tank. Nice. Once the sun was getting low on the horizon, we decided to head back to camp to regroup and prepare for the evening. We had pillows and blankets we borrowed from the hotel, but we still had to decide what we were going to do for dinner. Before that though, we wanted to watch a different type of sunset and we managed to capture the hole in the rock in the peak above us in shadow during the sunset. Other than a time lapse, we just sat down and enjoyed it. It's quarter after eight, and we're trying to rush back to the, uh, what is that little gas station? A little gas station at the, at the entrance of Valley of Fire to get something to eat. But we had gotten talking with some some astrophotographers. Uh, shout out to Dean and Drew, Drew and Jenny. <laughs> so shout out to Drew and Jenny that uh, they're doing some astrophotography as well. But we're trying to rush back to that gas station to get some food, and then get on back and start getting some star star photos. Hopefully, it's really cool being in in the Valley of Fire after dark. They usually kick you out at sunset. pretty <laughs> Good Tell me I'm pretty oh my goodness wow what a sleep um it is morning we uh wow I think I think we got good shots I think Christine shot the the Milky Way last night right over right over yonder ridge up there I'm not gonna point the camera that way because that's where that big fiery abrupt morning ball of fire in the sky is and I shot uh, this rock up here uh, that's where the uh, that's where the North Star was and I shot 9 30 10 11 12 1 2 3 I shot six hours of time-lapse I want to do star I want to do star trails my my favorite thing is do star trails and uh, we had a fire going, so the fire was actually producing a a warm light on that rock, and the rock, of course, is red. So that should have worked out quite well. Uh, I don't know if it did or not, but we got up at two. We got up at two, and then I set the alarm again for about four, and uh, Christine put her camera away at two. Yeah. I, I kept going. I, I had enough battery left, and I just said, keep going. Well, where I was shooting... It's 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 7.45. It's 8 o'clock in the morning, so there's still people sleeping. 
where I was shooting, the Milky Way was rising up over the rock, like directly parallel to it. And if I kept shooting, it would have slowly come out of the frame. So I got the shots I wanted, it rising up. Yeah. Yeah, we came out here, I mean, a uh, piece of software called Photo Pills. And, uh, you know, anybody who does any star stuff will, will tell you that that's a pretty cool program. So if you haven't checked it out yet, check it out. Uh, it's better on iOS, on Apple. And I think it's more expensive too, but Android, I mean, it, it uses augmented, it uses, you know, your camera that you can, you can view around the screen, but uh, and it'll also show you where the North star is and it, it calculates your 500 rule and your, what is it? NFP, NPF, whatever rule, which is, is the rule on how fast you can, uh, how, sl how slow you can make your shutter without getting stars streaking in the sky. So you can get some nice pinpoints of light. So pretty cool stuff so we're gonna i'm gonna wake up and i'm gonna comb my hair because <laughs> damn but we're gonna wake up a little bit we're gonna shoot around um the bighorn sheep are already walking through camp and uh yeah we're, we're gonna take our time everything's packed up we slept in the car that was it was okay it was okay for a car sleep <laughs> i dreamt of our of our suite in the venetian but fluffy bed, fluffy bed, fluffy pillow, fluffy everything. So we'll, we'll sleep there tonight. We'll have a good sleep tonight. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. We'll have a good sleep tonight. And, it, and then we're leaving tomorrow, but, um, we're going to pack up, shoot around camp a little bit. I have a couple more three sixties I'd like to do. And, uh, and yeah. Then head back to civilization. Well, I wouldn't call well, Vegas civilization. I'll head back to Vegas. Las Vegas. <laughs> I wouldn't be doing this video if we didn't have people helping. Uh, but Christine got herself locked in the bathroom. Oh, they got her out. Christine got herself locked out of the bathroom. I raced down to the maintenance area. Thankfully, I found a park ranger and a park ranger maintenance person. And they just got her out. The I called 911 and the fire department might be here. I have no idea, but uh, but Christine got locked in the bathroom. So we're gonna make fun of her for that for a while. And she's out. So like I said, I wouldn't be making this video if it wasn't for uh wasn't for the cavalry helping. I couldn't I couldn't help any further than they were already helping. Let's go see how let's go see how she's doing. What I've seen, I got it. But I just said, our cameras, you can just set interval. Yeah. So I just programmed it and went to sleep. That works all on yeah. there. We, 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 we got to learn that. that. Well, you oh, no, it's... Yes. <laughs> Christine, why is the bathroom out of order? Come the over here. lock got stuck. Come over here. Come over here. Let, them, let her do... <laughs> With me inside. <laughs> well... <laughs> Well, thanks to the uh, the Valley of Fire uh, Park Rangers, they got you out. Yep. Yeah, his <laughs> and thanks to this gentleman over here, yes. <laughs> well, that ordeal is over. Are we recording? Yeah, we're recording. I'm not sure how much I recorded earlier because as they were trying to pry the door open, once the cavalry got here, I, I went over and of course I had to get some video. I had to get some video of your, of your struggles. <laughs> but uh, right before she went to the bathroom here, Christine said, I'm really glad we came out here. And I gave her a penny. Right, well, I found this crusty old penny, probably, probably from the dinosaur age. You're right. Uh, that there was tails up because you know if it's tails up, you give it to somebody else. That way they have good luck. You don't you don't want to keep a tails up penny. At least that's the that's the myth. The, the theory. The theory. Uh, so I gave her this penny and she put it in her pocket and she immediately got locked in the bathroom. <laughs> so right behind there, you see that's the out of order bathroom. And actually, do you want to take this cursed penny home? No. Okay, we're not taking the cursed penny home. But here's the thing. I'm going to... You know what? I'm not going to leave this here. If you come out to Valley of Fire State Park and you come to the lower Arch Rock campground and you want a cursed penny, you got to let me know. you got to let me know that you got it. But I'm going to put this cursed penny right here behind the sign and put a couple rocks on it so that nobody sees it. And that is on you. You get a cursed penny, that's on you. All right, Christine, pose by your out-of-order sign. <laughs> get closer. That was you. You caused that. No, 
I Way to go. I'm lucky one to be there. With Wait till we get the bill for Nevada state government property that you destroyed. I didn't do any of that. <laughs> <laughs> I hope they don't have speed comers on that road. I booked it going down to that, that entrance. <laughs> I, was, I was really worried about Christine. Let's walk back. I was really worried about her because, you know, it's, it's eight in the morning and it gets hot out here quick. And we got some sun flare probably, but it gets hot out here really quick. And I tried a couple things to pry it to pry it open. I had a just the cheapest standard screwdriver in the back of the car, in the back of the rental. And I was trying to walk the uh, the little doodad. I was trying to walk the little doodad out, and it just wasn't budging. But uh, I I I I booked it down to the west entrance, and and the, there was nobody at the gate. The gate was closed. And so uh, I went to the, the ranger residences and I was just knocking on doors. And, and thankfully that day, that park ranger, what was her name? Ranger Petri, 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 Petri? Ranger Petri, I think it was Ranger Something Petri. Like uh, but I will be contacting the, the main offices here and let them know how amazing that ranger and even the, the lady with the maintenance uh, was because as I was coming out of the ranger residences, she would the, the other lady with the maintenance truck, she came in. I didn't get her name. She as soon as you were out, she had things to do. Um, but I kind of flagged her down. I said, Can you can you help my wife is stuck in the bathroom <laughs> and at Arch like, Rock? She's like, upper or lower? And I'm like, I don't know. Upper or lower? And I'm like, lower? I guess it's lower. I guess up there is I guess up there is upper. But uh, she knew exactly. We and she turned on this one way road over here and I'm like in case she gets lost, I'm not I'm not going the right way. So I went down the run one lane road. So you may get speeding tickets and uh and wrong way of traffic tickets in the mail from the Hopefully not. But um yeah. So we're gonna get we're gonna get that. Uh probably get a bill for um the the fire truck that's probably still on the way. No, they she the nine one one said they were gonna con they were gonna contact us to enter agency. And um she just barely heard me and she said, fire. I said, somebody, I, I can't hear you. You're breaking up because, you know, <laughs> the hello Valley of fire. But I finally got to say, we're okay. A rain, there's a ranger here. We're okay. We're okay. We're okay. And, and I, I think she heard you. I think she heard me. So I think we're okay. But uh, yeah. And then we're going to get the bill for all the, uh, for the, the bathroom you broke. I didn't break it. It's a toilet. <laughs> okay. You broke the handle. You know how expensive those handles probably are as industrial Apparently, strength as that thing was well the joke the joke with government is what do they pay like nine thousand dollars for a toilet seat could you imagine what a handle's gonna be you're screwed we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna be old age when we finally pay that sucker off so we're we're done we are completely done i think uh i think we're gonna set up a couple videos on that get get out of here we're going back to we're going back to somewhat civilization get showers we're gonna pack up uh, the rest of the stuff. Stuff went flying everywhere. I mean, like I said, I was going over humps. I might have even caught air once or twice. But I was wor I was really worried because, you know, as I said, um, 8 a.m. the sun is just beating down and it gets hot in here. I was really worried about her, you know, suffocating and falling in the vault toilet or something. So, oh well. <sighs> Crisis Let's averted. That was an adventure. Head back to our <laughs> Las Vegas home. Sounds good. Roll the windows up, get the AC cranking, and get out of here. We're still in Valley of Fire. <laughs> oh, we're gonna go. We're gonna go back to that gas station that we we had dinner at last night. And uh, I need to I need to check get some air, check the air pressure of the tires. And um, might not be a bad idea to top up. To, well, no, we're actually good with gas, so we're okay. But uh, I, I'm pretty sure. It was Ranger Petri. So thank you so much, Ranger Petri, and also the uh, the maintenance uh, the maintenance lady that, that came out. I, I, you know, she she left before I could thank her and before I could get her name. And but they're they're both uh, amazing people. And uh, like I said, if you get that if you get that that cursed penny, 
I don't know if I want to know, but let me know if it's still there. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, we're going to go back to Vegas and unpack, uh, maybe, maybe get all our stuff on charge. We're about, we're going to be about an hour away. We're going to get there. We're going to get in at about 10 o'clock and once we stop, maybe get a little thing for breakfast and check the tire pressure and get something cold to drink. So what do you think about Valley of Fire State Park, Christy? I loved it until I got the, uh, the bathroom. So you got locked in the bathroom. I, I, I'm fine with every other part of it. The bathrooms suck. <laughs> well, you know, the good thing about it now, you are immune to everything. <laughs> if you are stuck in a, in a state park vault toilet for a half an hour, I think you are now, you're going to live forever. <laughs> you're immune to everything. Uh, yeah, it could have been worse. At least it was only about half an hour, maybe. Well, but I mean, I I did waste about five minutes trying to trying to pry it open myself, and then thankfully, uh, one of the gentlemen came up and he he asked if everything was okay, and I, I let him know. And then we made friends with always make friends, always talk to people around your campsite. There's there's so many great people around campsites. So always talk to your, always make friends around the campsite because I was able to go to, uh, big thanks to Drew and Jenny, I was able to say, I need to I need to race out to the gate. Can, can you guys check on her every once in a while? But uh, thankfully she was okay and, and it wasn't getting hot in there yet, but I knew it was gonna get hot in there pretty soon. So I, I just, I hauled ass down this road and the residences for the rangers are, are over there on the right. You should be able to turn that around. Those are the residences for the rangers. It's like, it's like, you know, do not enter, no trespassing. And I'm like, you know what? I got to. Especially because we're coming up on the, the west gate now and that had the that had the the self-pay set up. Yeah, I wasn't I wasn't messing with that. <laughs> This gas station we came to had fireworks, and we weren't really feeling it last night, but damn it, I want to shoot some fireworks. You don't want to shoot? No. What? There you go.